guys and welcome to my February vlog. I've had a pretty low energy month this month. I had the zine fair at the beginning of February and put a lot of effort into that, getting ready for it, getting everything done, having that really hard deadline to work towards. And since then I've sort of crashed a bit and haven't been doing a lot. I have yeah, I've done a bit of real organising of my studio area, so I've got some footage of that. And also swatching handmade watercolours that I got for Christmas. And they're some really fun and interesting colours. And then keep watching till the end of the vlog and I'll talk about my limited colour palette I used for February. Um, wasn't really happy with it and so you can find out why. So yeah. This is Sketching the World and I'm Kat, a writer and artist from Australia, but my dream is to sketch the world. I got some paint samples for Christmas, so I thought I might test them right now and see what they are like. They're from a place called Sisters Inc. I really am interested in seeing what they're like. Another obviously bright, bright, luminous, but I'm not sure because it's very transparent as well. And then the last one is called Neon White. Not sure if it's just a white or it might not come out on my sketchbook. So we'll try it. You can sort of see that there's a colour there. So they were the neons, the seven neon colours in that range. I'll just put the plastic back on so that that is back on for that. Definitely specialty colours, but yeah, if you're going somewhere where you need to have some really man-made bright colours, these would be perfect. So these are from the Lumen palette. Lumen. And we start off with Lemon Fears. I feel like sometimes handmade paints are slower to activate than commercial ones. But yeah, it's a nice yellow. It's got a bit of an old worldy feel to it. Wow, that's a very, it's called French Marigold. It's sort of got touches of red and yellow and, and then orange where it's sort of blending. I'll be quite interested to see what this looks like when it dries. Then that'd be great for some like, if you're doing Gothic or Victorian style scenes. So yeah, that's my Christmas article of paint samples. Grey colours these, yeah, if you want to do like 
I just look at them and I think amusement park, I guess, because that's something I like painting. But it'd also be good if you're into doing like sort of Japanese style, kawaii stuff. You could even mix them with a white, with this white, and get them like quite pastel. And then these samples, this one seems to have a bit of a glow to it. It's not a metallic colour, but it does have a bit of a glow. Then this one, that's a metallic one. It's not like too metallic. I'm not someone who likes metallic colours. And yeah, that doesn't offend me at all. <laughs> then this one here, the marigold. What's it called? Marigold. French marigold. Yeah, that's a really interesting one. That's got a bit of granulation in it and... Yeah, I just like that it's an orange, but it seems to separate uh, into the red and yellow components. So that's great. I might just try doing a little bit of mixing. Ooh, getting crazy now with some mixing. So yeah, I'll stop here for today and before I use up all my dot cards and um, put them away to do a full painting sometime in the future. I really like the neons, but yeah, they're very special purpose colours, not everyday colours. I think getting the dot card would be great because if you were out painting on location, the dot card would be fantastic to use to just get those specialty colors just to get that really pop of specialty colors and that thing I'm thinking is that they would be fantastic in a night scene I'd like to see how they go for black but even just using them with maybe some charcoal or something like that to get the blacks like laying down the bright neon colors and then going in with a black pencil or a black um charcoal over the top uh, something that would be fantastic the yeah these two do have a bit of a metallic glow they mix really nice they yeah interesting very interesting range of colors again that was by sisters inc and i'll put their instagram and website in the description i love them they're really really interesting colors and really good to use really nice to use so i'll just write this down here sisters ink and oh just so you know the details i was watching these in my etcher sketchbook and i was also using this guy which is raphael raphael soft aqua 12 it is very small for a 12 brush. I think they're sizing uh, international six. So yeah, I call it a six.
enjoying today's content just remember to hit the thumbs up button and let the youtube algorithms know that you like it and of course if you're interested in watching more and you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything and as always thanks for watching and keep watching for more fun stuff Okay, this was my limited colour palette. I've got that purple down a few times, but this was my limited colour palette for February. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I ended up not being really happy with this palette. I selected all the art materials and that. I thought it was going to be a really fun palette having those sort of moody greys and purples with the pop of orange and that it would be, yeah, just really nice to use. But... I discovered very quickly it wasn't fun at all. I really didn't enjoy using this palette. I think that my mistake was not going for enough variety. I, yeah, the problems I had with it was there wasn't enough tonal range. There wasn't enough contrast, but like there's no complementary colours in here. We've got secondary colour, secondary colour and grey. No, so no complementary colours. Uh, might have been nice to have had a bit of like blue or something to contrast with the orange. And no sort of warm and cold. Like I was sort of going for the cool grey to contrast to, with these, but it wasn't enough of a contrast to make my artwork interesting. So I spent the whole month getting quite frustrated. Yeah, like I could have done like say this really light grey with light purple with a yeah something like that I think would have worked better but anyway you live and you learn and so let's get on to the sketchbook tour and I'll talk a bit more about this this was when I was doing my color palette at the beginning of the month I squeezed out too much of this grey paint and had to end up I ended up with it all over me and had to end up doing a background there and this was a challenge on Instagram sketch with me Sunday so I used mainly um, neo color crayons on that and yeah not unhappy with it then this was another challenge on Instagram and I think this was my favorite sketch of the month um, just this yeah used a few different materials here and tried to get that sort of effect of the like sort of decaying building all abandoned and everything then onto this this i really struggled with i struggled so hard with this picture it was such a cool reference picture by house cat illustration she does like a i'm not sure if it's monthly or weekly challenge and yeah so such a cool reference and but like never really got there and yeah i think it was quite okay when i first started doing it i had the line drawing but then i started adding color and that's when i started getting very very frustrated with this color scheme but then on to this this was another challenge on instagram and i started off doing that again i'm not happy with that the only thing i like are the marks in this these trees that's the only thing I really like there. I thought I could do it sort of grey, greyish purple with the pops of orange, but yeah, it didn't work. Then this, with this one, I was getting really frustrated with my material, so I grabbed the dusky purple in the ink tents and used that a bit on this and added the water in and everything. And, hmm. I don't hate it, but it's not something that I love either. It's not. Yeah. And then this was today's picture. We went down to the cafe near my house and I did some sketching there. And, yeah, that's it. That is all the sketching that I did this month. That's pretty much it. So, yeah. I think when I'm doing like the monthly palette with the limited color palettes from now on, I'll either try to get like a really strong tonal variation or the 
complementary colours or hot and cold, just so that I've got something to be working off. And yeah, of these materials, I really hated this. This just tore up the paper pilot pintor. I was a little bit dry, I think. Never used the brush pen much. I really did like using the big chunky Posca. That was the most fun material. Never used that. I used that quite a bit. The highlighter pen grey. Um, I think it's not really a highlighter. Low lighter, maybe. And yeah, pencils. Of course, I always use pencils. Pencils are my go-to. And the Neo Colors. Neo Colors were good to use because you can do that blending. And I had the black and white in that, so I could get a bit of variation in colors. But yeah, so that was it. February palette, I declare you be no good. So now let's go on to my March palette. I decided since that was such a big failure, I'm going to stick with a very simple palette, a very tried and true palette, which is red. I would actually prefer a more red red and pale blue. That blue is not pale enough. And do 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 dark indigo luminance pencil, the dark indigo. I really struggled in February not using my favourite dark indigo pencil. If I had I had a purple that was as dark as the dark indigo blue, I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more. But yeah, I was expecting this um chroma flow to be a bit darker and to give me that kind of contrast and it didn't so i was very sad about that now i'm just going to find some colors here pencils i don't want to go through all my art materials like i did last time because you know you don't want to see all my art materials every single art material i'm using every single month i'm sure and i can't find i'm sure i've got a pale blue in the ha ha so yeah, these three, that is much more the blue I want than that. So that is the light cobalt blue. This is a prisma colour of poppy red and the dark indigo. And I'll get some other materials that mesh with those like similar colours in other materials. And that will be my March palette. And I'll, I'll keep going in this sketchbook because I've got so many pages left because I did nothing at all in February. <laughs> so that's it for this week, this month. That's that. This month's... I'm very tempted to have that green. No, I don't have the green. I'm just going to go with the three. Three is good. Or oh, this green. I actually found it a real struggle not having the green in my palette in February. So that's why I'm looking at greens. Both of those greens would be good. March palette. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week with more exciting stuff. More exciting sketching. Though. But wait, wait, I've got some news to share with you. I've got more travel planned and I'm going to Tokyo in April. Not just to Tokyo, I'm going to do some touring around the rest of Japan and going to some new to me areas and exploring a bit more of the country. I've been to a lot of lot of different areas around Tokyo, but they're not around Tokyo, different areas around Japan, but there's always something new and exciting to explore. So keep an eye out for that coming up soon in April, actually. April is when that will be because that's when I'm travelling. And that's it. Bye.